In this how-to stats video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a factorial repeated measures ANOVA. And the form of the factorial ANOVA I'm going to demonstrate is the most basic, which is a 2 by 2 repeated measures ANOVA. For more complicated designs in this context, like a 2 by 3 even, or more, uh, decomposing the interaction effects is more complicated, and I'm going to do a separate video on that. In this case here, it's just a 2 by 2 and I'm going to look at the interaction, and we're going to decompose it, uh, but it's the its simplest form, and I think this is the starting point. So in this example, which are fictitious data, I have a group of 12 people, in fact they were all males, and they were tested on a memory test uh, on four separate occasions. All 12 males were tested on four separate occasions, and on each occasion a different person administered the memory test. And on two occasions, the person administering the test uh, were males. So a male did it once wearing a lab coat, and a male did it another time just wearing casual clothing. And these people were very attractive. Let's just assume that these males were very attractive, administering the test to the male participants. And on two other occasions, the individuals administering the memory test consisted of females, very attractive females. And in one condition, the, fe the attractive female was wearing a lab coat. And then in the other condition, which is a different female, also very attractive, was wearing casual clothing. Let's just say jeans and a white t-shirt. And the hypothesis here is that the nature of the clothing or the nature of the gender of the person administering the test is going to have an impact on the performance of the males on the memory test. And so we actually have two uh, ver independent variables here. One of the independent variables is the gender of the person administering the test, and the other independent variable is the type of clothing they're wearing, lab coat, or casual clothing. So there are two genders, that's part of the two-way, and there are two types of clothing, lab coat or casual, which is two levels. So that makes it a two by two repeated measures ANOVA. So to perform this analysis, you go into Analyze, General Linear Model, and click on Repeated Measures. Now you need to name your within subjects factors. And it's important to give them something meaningful uh, because it becomes clearer in the output. So you can keep factor 1 if you want, but I would give it a name. So in this case here, I'm going to name the first factor, which is gender, uh, I mean, as in males and females, I'm actually going to name it gender. So gender is my first within subjects factor. I'm not talking about gender of the participants, they're all males. It's the gender of the person administering the memory test. That's 2. Click on Add. So I've got my first within subjects factor named. The second one is type of clothing. Wearing a lab coat. They were probably wearing more than just a lab coat. Let's just say they were wearing pants and a shirt and a lab coat. So they were conservatively dressed. And so I'll put clothes as my second within subjects factor, of which there are two levels. And for those thinking, wouldn't, the, wouldn't there be carryover effects? I'll just mention briefly. Wouldn't there be carryover over effects in this type of study? Possibly, but each participant was randomly assigned to the conditions in terms of the order. Uh, so not everyone was exposed to the male wearing the lab coat on their first testing occasion. Only some people were. It was randomly assigned the order with which they were uh, presented. So click on Define. And this is an important uh, table to look at because, or I should say a window, it says here within subjects variables and it gives me gender comma close and in parentheses it's giving me the numbers it's telling me you need to put a gender one and a close one here or you need to put the same gender here and here so it's gender one and gender one with lab coat clothing and casual clothing now I haven't actually specified these numbers anywhere 
I just have to do something logical and consistent with the numbers that 